guys tie your hair and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you already been here thanks for coming back so in today's video we are going to be trying and we are going to be failing at this rain on me inspired look so if you are interested keep on watching before we start the video please make sure you are subscribed to the channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time i upload a video and follow me on instagram and with that being said let's jump right into the video yeah all right you guys so i did my brows off camera as always i'm going to do the face part of the makeup look first because it just makes more sense to do it that way so yeah with that being said let go to prime my face i'm using my fenty beauty pro filter hydrating primer for foundation i'm using my nars radiant longwear foundation and i'm using the shade macau and the shade marquises and i'm just going to mix both of these I'm going to blend my foundation out using my M439 brush by Morphe. Concealer, I'm using my Pat McGrath Labs Concealer in the shade MD23. For extra brightness under the eyes, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer and I'm taking the shade 410. Do my under eyes sit while I blend everywhere else with my Real Techniques sponge. So I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade number 6 Chocolate. I'm using my e.l.f. contouring brush. and I'm using my F19 brush from Shop Miss A. So before I set my face, I'm using the same F19 brush, not adding any product, and I'm just going over my lids just as a base for I look all right so i'm going to set all of this in place with my laura mercier translucent setting powder So I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm using the shade 60 Deep. I'm going to bronze my face up with this ABH bronzer in the shade Mahogany. And I'm using an E4 brush. so I have to do a black liner and then do the white one so I'm going to be using my NYX matte liner in the shade black and I'm going to attempt to do my wing All 
Alright, you guys, so this is the wing. I was literally shaking while I was doing it, but I think I'm going to do the next eye off camera because <laughs> I don't know if I can get it this small, but fingers crossed, I'm going to try. Alright, y'all, so this eye came out a little bit thicker than this one, so I had to like match it up so it looks as close as possible. It's still not perfect, but you know, I can work with it. Um, for the white part, I'm going to be using the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liner in the shade White. And I watched Alyssa Ashley's video and she started from the bottom. And I think I'm going to do the same thing just to play it safe. Worst case, I'll probably trace the top and then go back over with the liner. So I'm just going to whew, draw the bottom part first. Oh my god. Right. No. Can I get the All right. Almost there. So I went back in on the bottom part just a little bit just to bring it up because I'm realizing that it has like a curve up. For the top part, I use my brow pencil and just lightly trace where I want to draw and then I'm just going to go back over it with the liner. You guys so my liner is draining a little bit so i'm going to see if i can clean that up and then come back to finish the rest of this eye all right so i tried to clean it up as best as i could and this is what it looks like i'm not mad i'm the worst when it comes on to eyeliners anyways so i think it looks good <laughs> i'm going to try and do the bottom parts Alright guys, so I think I'm going to do my next eye off camera because I think I'm going to title this video Epic Fail because this ain't it, sis. So I'm going to do the next eye off camera, apply some lashes, and then I'll be right back to finish this look. You guys, so honestly, I don't know how bad it looks on camera, but in person, I'm like, no, mm -mm, this ain't it. But this eye looks a lot better than the first one but i'm just gonna move on with the look i'm gonna take my fenty beauty cream blush and i'm using the shade daiquiri dip and i'm using this wet and wild brush to just apply some blush to my cheeks i'm going to use some highlights i'm going to be taking the nyx high glass and i have the shade golden hour and I'm just going to add some glow. Oops, I'm using the Colourpop BFF 42 pencil. Take this Colourpop lipstick in the shade Quickie. And I'm going to apply my Artist Couture gloss in the shade Uncensored 2.0. So I feel like the lips need a little bit of pink to it. So I'm going to use the NYX Gloss in the shade Termosu. Alright guys, so I'm going to fix my hair and 
then come back and show you guys the finished look hey guys so this is the finished look i think i did okay probably like a three out of ten considering the fact that i'm the worst when it comes on to doing eyeliners but yeah, it doesn't look bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.